Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hey everyone. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. A few more days in our lives. We hope you guys enjoy it. Good morning everybody. Good morning guys. Today is Wednesday morning and Mama Bear was super tired this morning from her physical therapy yesterday. And I was gonna let her sleep, but I gotta hop off at the shop, so I don't want her at the house without a ride. So her and grandma will have the truck. I just wanna hop off at the shop and then I gotta leave around noon anyway. So I'll get a few hours in today. I haven't gone all week. <gasps> Mama just broke her hair tight. Now I'm gonna be all bushy. It was really last minute when I said, uh, actually it was last second when I said, second. drop me off real quick. I was like, I just need to put on my hoodie. I'm going to put on my PJs. I'm not going to get out. <laughs> so we're heading in. We dropped Jackson off. We're heading across now. I'm about to hop off right now. And I think Mama Bear's going to pick me back up around noonish. I got to go talk to the missionaries at the church at 1. They're having a zone conference. And they wanted me to come by and share some words, I guess. Yes. All right. So I made it back to the shop. Finally, this is the first day I'm here this week, but we have nothing really to work on other than the Mustang. So that's really awesome. We've got a lot of stuff to do on the Mustang though. This is what this one is looking like right now. I gotta put this glove box back in after I do the heater though. Now the um, contact cement is all set. This thing looks pretty nice. I really like how this came out. This one came out nice too. And here are all the components for the heater. Um, these are all gonna have to be put together and fit under the dash. These are for the vent. I am trying to get these blend doors put together and then I'm trying to get this ready so I can put the heater core in this thing. These don't fit, barely. So I'm making the holes a little wider just so it looks uniform and then uh, It'll fit better. And then I'm putting it together. I've also got this little flap right here that broke in transit before delivery. So I gotta figure this out too. Mama picked me up, you guys, and she brought me a chili dog and a grape Red Bull slush. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> We're going to go head up to the church right now. I got to wash up and change real quick. Um, they're having a missionary zone conference, and they asked me to not really give a talk, but just um, talk to them a bit, give them some, uh, some uh, spiritual ammunition and words of encouragement. Kind of awesome. It's cool that they asked me to come and talk to the guys. Yeah, that's really cool. But you're pretty cool to do. I try really hard to be. I'm only cool because of our three boys. They're, they make me cool. <laughs> we're here at the dollar store with Michael. We were at the church earlier. We were there for a bit. My uh, five minute talk turned into a 20 minute talk. And. <laughs> We left. We're picking the boys up now. We're in the middle of it. My legs still have my track practice, and that was in the morning before we went to lunch. Sounds fun. We we're here picking up Jackson. Now. Hi. It's a little earlier than we normally pick him up, but we're heading home. We have Michael, and we have Draven, who's in the truck. He's the last of his kind. Okay, everybody is at home, except for Grandma. I 
dropped off Mama and the boys. I am heading back into Gallup real quick. Earlier today, when I hopped off at the shop, uh, Mama Bear went back to the house, and then she came back into town. She was with Grandma Bear. They went to a funeral, and Grandma was spending some time with her sisters. As Mama Bear picked me up, and we headed over to the church for our conference, and we were heading back out to the house. We were actually almost home, and Grandma called and said that she was done with what they were doing, and she's ready to be picked up. So I unloaded everybody, and I'm heading back in right now. I'm gonna go pick Grandma up and come back out and finish what I was doing with the power steering pump on the Ford. Well, I got the power steering pump off, but while I have the front end taken apart, they asked if I could change the water pump as well. So, um, I needed a big wrench and I was looking for the wrench, couldn't find it, so I went to go borrow one from my bro. And I have the wrench, so I'm gonna pull the water pump, put everything back together, and I'll be done with it. I'm back at the house and um, Mama Bear's inside with the boys. I am working on the truck again in the carport. I borrowed this wrench to take the fan off the water pump, and this wrench is just a little bit too small. And this is the biggest wrench that I can get a hold of right now. So I think I'm gonna to have to make something. I have this plate right here that I can probably cut down, at least make a wrench out of real quick. See if it'll work anyway. Hey, Larry. Mister, right there too. Somebody asked if these cats are feral. No, these cats are our cats. They just prefer to stay outside. They watch the house. I'm gonna feed these guys right now. That's why they're barking all crazy. I'll start with this guy. Hey Zip. They were uh, running around a while ago. I had to make a round of putting them all back on their chain. This wrench was just a little bit small when it came to the fan. So I cut this one and this turns out to be the size that I need. And this was the piece of metal that I got from my sister's leaf spring. And this was the other half of the one. This was the half that we didn't use. So I cut this and now it fits on the fan. So this is the bolt on the fan. And this is the one I needed the wrench for. So now this one actually fits on there and Hopefully, I can get this off of here so I can change this water pump. I have to get the fan off because I gotta get the pulley off because bolts like this one here and this one here, I cannot get to unless I pull this pulley off. Now that we have the fan and the pulley off, we're gonna get this water pump off. A few 10 millimeter bolts and then we're gonna clean the surface real quick and then put the new water pump on and then everything is reversed man this was pretty hard to get separated kind of crazy but it is out of there so I'm gonna clean this surface real quick and then I'm gonna put the new water pump in when I pull this one out you can feel that the bearing is a little loose and it's probably enough to make some noise but it wasn't enough to start causing really bad problems with the belt yet but it was getting there mama said that the food is done so i'm gonna wash it so i can eat some navajo tacos for dinner thank you mama You're welcome. i love you the new water pump is in, and I had to get the oil filter off. It was a little bit of a pain. That thing was put on dry a lot of miles ago. That rubber seal was baked on there. I got it loose. I put it back on for now. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to put the power steering pump on and put a new oil filter on it. It is 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go inside and work on some editing and spend some time with the boys and Mama Bear before we crash out. Good morning, everybody. 
These guys are all getting ready for school. You ready for school, D? Yeah. Cool. It's on Netflix? Mm -hmm. Nice. Draven found Baby Driver on Netflix. Grandma's gonna take the boys to school and I'm gonna go outside and start on the truck. I'm gonna work on the truck again until noon-ish and then I'm gonna go to work. And I'll be at work until probably five and then I'll come back and finish whatever I don't finish on the truck. I went through the truck and I cleaned a bunch of stuff and fixed a bunch of clips and wires just so we don't do that later. And then I put that power steering pump on and it is such a pain to reach these bolts. I put it on, I ran all the bolts through and there was still a quarter inch gap where the pump was flopping around. So I came over here to inspect this and it looks as though there's some spacers on here. I gotta take these off and put them on the new power steering pump, which I already put on. I got the pump off so I can put those spacers in here and there are dowels in here. So yesterday I was telling Mama Bear that this is the worst power steering pump I have ever removed on any of the vehicles that I have ever been a part of. So it's kind of crazy that it's just getting worse. Okay, here are the spacers and this side is the one that sits inside the power steering pump. This side sits inside the engine. That truck, it's making me a little bit crazy. <laughs> I came in to take a break, ate some food. Grandma came back and she brought some Lotta Burger back too, so that's awesome. Grabbing my monster, gonna head back out. Mama Bear, she's gonna go uh, tend to her plants. She's been putting them in and out all morning, and she looks super cute in that. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna go hang out in the front. Mama bears gonna go hang out in the back with her mom. I'm gonna go back to the carport. I would work on this in the garage, but my mom's car is in the garage right now. I'm supposed to be working on that one too. I've got these cut down. Now I gotta pull the dowels out of the pump and put it all together. Luckily, these little ones come out pretty easy. You just get a nice little grip on them. Wiggle them back and forth. These have a little gap in them, so a lot of times if you just squeeze them, they'll close that little gap. You can pull it out. Not too bad. This one came out no problem. Wow, man. This thing just won't stop. It's one thing after another. So here's the fan that's going on, and there's the pulley that it's going on to. Now the fan doesn't fit. What you doing out here, Mama? Uh, trying to, well, me and Grandma are trying to find out all the corn. Nice. They were getting a little too big for inside, so I Ooh. just decided to find them. And if they don't make it, I threw some extra seeds in there, so there's extra seeds plenty. Okay. <laughs> After doing some research, I have to take off this water pump, take it back into Gallup, and see if the vehicle owner wants to get a new pump or a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> Mama and I are cruising in to pick up the babies. 
and dinner too or no? Yes. And some dinner. dinner. <laughs> we were gonna meet her aunt and swap out these um, water pumps, but they don't have a ride because her ride is at our house. Yeah. So I don't have the receipt for she them. Lives away out yeah, in Mexican Spring, so yeah. There's no way she can come in, and we can go out there. <laughs> Normally, I would go and get this taken care of at the auto parts store, but I don't have access to the receipt, so that's where the problem lies. Yeah. We're heading in right now, though. We've been sitting here for a little bit, not too long, a few minutes. Michael hopped in, and Draven hopped in. Draven hopped in earlier because he's on Netflix and he wanted to watch Baby Driver this morning. So he hopped in right away, and he's watching it already. Before we get Jackson, we're going to go head over to Lowe's. We're trying to decide on what to get for dinner. I wanted some hamburgers because it's quick, it's easy, and it's just meat and bread. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know though. Sounds good. Okay. Tater tots or potato chips? Yeah. I like them both, so. I don't know. Tater tots. Potato chips. Okay. Tater tots and potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jackson? Hi. <laughs> we have all the little dudes. We're almost home. Oh, everybody's tired. Yes. I was getting back to comments on here, and we get asked a lot why Mama Bear doesn't vlog. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, somebody asked again why Mama Bear doesn't vlog and do a day in the life. Watch. <laughs> this isn't a project that was Mama Bear's idea or anything, so I'm not going to be trying to ask her to vlog or to edit or to post or anything. This is how I wanted to store what we do instead of storing pictures on my phone, and this is how I do it. Mama Bear has multiple platforms that she posts on, and Mama Bear will post what she wants to post. So when we're doing YouTube, I want to post videos that show all of what we do as a family and I'm sure when Mama Bear wants to start vlogging the day I'm sure she will right now I take care of the vlogging and the editing and the worry and everything else <laughs> Mama Bear she does a lot she does so much more than I could ever ask her for so this is one of the things that I'm not gonna throw on the plate of things that she's already got going on. <laughs> Daisy's still over there? And, just in case you guys don't know, Mama Bear's really shy. Yeah, I seriously am, guys. Mama Bear doesn't like to talk you in guys, public or be in public. You guys have not seen the real me, and it's been over a year. She gets anxiety ridden pretty quick. So she she doesn't do so well with public speaking, no. public engagements, or anything I like don't. that. I don't. So that's one of the main reasons why Mama Bear doesn't vlog. It's just gonna be a AMSR <laughs> vlog. <laughs> yep. Driving, Driving, planting, planting cooking, cooking <laughs> feeding the chickens. And you just hear my laugh every once in a while. Yep. <laughs> Alright, nice. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my we decided on some chicken strips for dinner with homemade cane sauce. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. I love you. All right, you guys. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We always appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the love and the support. We hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Y'all stay safe. See you guys later. Later.